having a premature baby is scary for anybody. Within the first week, Yuani had blood coming through the um, ventilation tube. We had to get ready to go to Starship, um, potentially for heart surgery. There was a lot of paperwork and a lot of choices that we had to make for his cares. Luckily, through the doctors talking, we found that he was actually born with a hemangioma growing on his vocal cord. The donor for me, I guess, is the safety barrier. Yeah. Um, the proof's there that other people have been through it. There's figures to show you the percentages. This research that Max is doing will help other families in the very similar situation that we faced. So this research project is looking at the long-term consequences of preterm birth or other um, things that happen in early uh, postnatal life. The importance of integrated data to inform our decision making is that at present time we focus very much on the physical and the health aspects of individuals, but those have far-reaching effects into the person's social and economic and uh, other aspects of their life. And I think this integrated data set really provides an opportunity to try and understand the individual more holistically. The advice of the doctors and the nurses around you, they just, you get an immediate sense that they know what they're doing. There's information to support you along in your journey. And there's really difficult decisions you feel like you've got to make, you kind of realise could fundamentally impact them. So this data is fantastic because actually we can join up, you know, health, education, this whole person overview of what happens to them as they grow up and as they enter adult life themselves. Before the integrated data, this um, study would have been basically impossible. We would have had to put this together ourselves. Also from a privacy concern, it's a really big deal that now it's all done in Statistics New Zealand in the most secure environment possible. It's positive because it gives you a long-term look at what to expect. At the moment we're, we're facing some of the challenges now, but to know in 10 years time what the possibility of school may look like, just knowing that that support will already be in place for him to succeed.